what is up you guys so i finally dropped some merch if you want to help and support the channel go ahead click on the link below it will take you to my teesprings website there you will see hoodies shirts and i think there's like a sticker but if you want to see more cool things happen to the e46 gtr definitely buy a shirt because it's going to help me out a lot so i thank you guys so much now let's get back to the video what's up everyone so hopefully it's not too windy um but today's the day i'm going to go over everything that i've put on the car so if you want to build something similar like my car with the wide body kit and everything I'm going to tell you exactly how much it costs now the prices may vary because most of this stuff I found good deals on but uh, I know that for the body kit the price just went up I was talking to the DTM Fiberworks guys and uh, they said due to COVID and the materials being more expensive the price actually went up so I'll go over that but um, I'm also going to tell you guys how you can basically build it for much cheaper. Uh, it all depends um, if you buy new or used. Most of the parts that I put in the car are actually used. So I'm not going to list the things I've done to it when it was all gray uh, because the things that I put on that when it was still uh, the base body, I actually sold all those things. So I'm not even going to mention it. I'm just going to get into it. My headlights. Uh, the Depot headlights with the Angel Eyes are plug and play $319 on eBay. Next thing I bought was the shift knob, which was 20 bucks. It's like the M style knob, it's awesome. Um, then I tuned the car with Rap Mesh Motorsports. That was a $250 tune for stage one. Currently it has stage three plus, I wanna say. Um, crazy burbles and everything. Now the most important thing, and the most expensive I would say on the car now is the body kit. The body kit was $2,000. I was actually sponsored with them. Without the sponsorship, the body kit ship would be close to 3,000. And now I think it's a little bit over that because of the materials and stuff like that. But if you get a sponsorship through them, they might give you a good discount. Uh, the other thing I did was a muffler delete with the twin pipes, like the M3 style, that was $200. eBay headers, I got them for $95. I think now they're probably around $130. I got a Mishimoto radiator, a thermostat, that together was $400. Uh, exhaust tips I found on eBay, and the SAP delete plate that I did the secondary air pump delete together that was $70. The GTR hood was a steal. It was brand new um, from Sabon. They sell them for around $1,600 to $2,000, but I was able to snatch a brand new one for only $450. I think they messed up on the eBay listing because for some reason the hood was $450 and to ship was $20. I, to ship something so massive is definitely not 20 bucks, so something had to be wrong. I think the shipping itself was like 400 bucks and they kind of messed it up there, but whatever the case was, I got an awesome deal. Next thing I got was the radio, which was the Eon uh, head unit. It's the version 10, I believe, the Android 10. It came with an OBD2 plug-in, so basically um, tells me the oil temp, engine temp, uh, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, intake temperature, uh, what RPM, horsepower, which I don't know how accurate that is, but basically it tells me everything. And any check engine lights that I have, I can clear, which is awesome. Uh, the next thing I bought was the corner lights. They were also depot. They were around 98 bucks. Uh, the second most expensive thing was the coilovers. Again, I also got sponsored by K-Sport. So the coilovers were around $1,300. The K-Sport Drift Series, so they're super stiff they're basically for drifting which is what i was building the car for but now i'm kind of iffy um i did just pick up a welded diff and i'll be putting it in here but i don't know if i'm ever going to tandem with this uh, build i am going to do solo drift events but i don't think i'm going to do tandems unless uh, i buy another e46 and build it similar to this but not mold the body kit now for the wheels and tires they are esr rf2s wrapped in federal 275-3019 those were together because uh, I got it from Pippin Industry, so they ship it already mounted. They were around 1600 bucks, which is a steal to get a basically rotary forged wheel with tire installed, balanced. Steal. Interior color change was around 100 bucks. So, as you guys know, it w I had it completely gray inside. The seats were garbage, everything was just stained, horrible. Um, the whole interior change was 100 bucks to turn it all black. I did just spend an extra $10 to make the um, trim yellow. I still have to do the door handles that I left purple because I did like the purple but I think the yellow is growing on me more and it's a lot cleaner. I deleted the stock seats because they were very uncomfortable, very slippery, didn't hold me in well and um, I wanted it gone for the time being so I picked up FRS seats. They were about 150 bucks. 
Uh, I had an FRS, I love them. They're bucket seats, they hold you in nicely. And for the time being, for 150 bucks, I think I've dropped around 75 pounds on that. So weight reduction, and they're much better than stock. But I will be getting a race seat with a harness and half cage soon. Um, I painted my headlights for eight bucks. It was on the uh, plastic can. So it's so easy to paint these headlights. You don't have to bake them. They're actually held on by clips. Uh, I removed the clips, sprayed the inside, and they still work. The only thing that I do not have is the high beams, which I never use, so it doesn't bother me. Uh, the next thing I got for the car was the big wing. That was $345. It's on eBay. It's an Energy GT wing. It's, I think it's a steel price because it's carbon fiber. The brackets do suck to me because they're big, um, but the wing doesn't wobble or anything. Even when you're driving past the 100, there's no shake or anything, so the brackets are awesome. They're just a little bit too tall for my liking, which I'll be replacing. The second spoiler that I got was the Duckbill. That was $95, it was fiberglass. Um, it wasn't OEM or authentic. It was some cheap eBay thing that I found that I decided to throw on because I was gonna mold it anyway. And it came out awesome, I love it. Uh, the M3 fender grills on the side, they were, were 30 bucks. I picked them up locally. They run about 100 on eBay. So if you can't find them cheaper on eBay, definitely do, don't spend that ridiculous 100 bucks because I removed the M3 badge. I'm not trying to say this is an M3, this is an E46 GTR kit. So even DTM Fiberworks doesn't call this an M3. They call it an E46 GTR kit. Other small things that I got that you don't necessarily have to get depending on the wheels you get is spacers. Those were 100 bucks, 12 millimeter in the front, 20 in the rear, and they came with extended lug nuts. Um, window tint was 180 bucks. I got it done locally. Um, prices may also vary wherever you are. Uh, painted interior yellow, which like I said was only like 10 bucks. Um, I did buy primer and then I bought the paint itself. The actual paint can look like this, but when I sprayed it was a little bit lighter, so it is what it is. And I did pick up new dash trim from, I don't want to butcher his company's name because he's an amazing guy. Uh, I believe it's LCO. He actually does a lot of uh, E46, E36, and I believe now E90 parts. It's a website on eBay where he sells all of his parts. And um, I was able to get a new dash trim from him. Uh, surprisingly, it was metal uh, because the one that came stuck with this um, was plastic, so it cracked and broke on me, but his was metal, so it's more durable and I'm super happy with it. Now, I'll get to how much everything cost in a second. Um, the only thing that will vary the most is probably how much you pick up the car for. I picked up the car for $4,500 a year and a half ago now, um, which you would think is kind of expensive, but it was one owner, it was a 69 year old gentleman that I picked it up from. He had it since day one with, um, I believe like three miles on it. So he he's done everything. There's a whole booklet of service records that he's done to the car. So when I was picking it up, I knew it was a great running car and it only had 84,000 miles. So it was a steel buy for 4,500 bucks. Um, would I have bought a 325CI? No, but because it was so clean and such low miles that I thought it's actually a really good deal to go ahead and just pick it up. Initially, I wanted a 330CI uh, just so I can boost it for the time being and drift it like that. But um, I didn't really want to buy an M3 and butcher it, but I'll get into that in a later video, uh, why I chose the 325 instead of an M3. But the price will also differ if you sell your stock parts. Um, all my stock parts that I've sold, I've gained back $3,800. Uh, that was the hood, the fenders, the stock bumpers, stock seats, um, stock wheels. Uh, what else did I sell? Stock headers, I don't, I don't think I mentioned it, but um, so I sold all that stuff and I made back $3,800. Just remember, you can always sell your stock parts. Now you won't make 50% back, but you'll make a good amount back. And um, I'm pretty happy with making almost four grand back because it's a good amount. It's not like I've sold everything for like 500 bucks. So take it with a grain of salt. Um, today's market, you can almost sell anything for a little bit more because of COVID. Uh, people are always searching for E46 parts, especially stock ones. So it all depends on much you sell it for and what you sell and how in the condition that it's in. But um, overall, with everything said and done, uh, I think I'm missing a few more things that I've sold. But um, the most important thing I forgot to mention was the paint. Um, I got quoted by a lot of shops between five to six grand, which was insane. And that's why it took the, and that's why it took almost six months to paint. 
uh, when I finally found a painter, this was a guy I met at PBC, which is a Philly Beamer Club. He posted a pic of his car being hit, and the same day he bonded over everything and painted. And I was like, do you actually do this like for a living? And he said, yeah. So uh, I DM'd him, we talked a little bit, and turns out he had his own shop that he worked at, and he gave me a ridiculous deal. It's also gonna vary for you guys, depending where you go, if you paint it yourself. I wanted to paint it myself, but with no garage, it's really difficult. I would've had tiger strips and you name it, orange peel, all that stuff. But Chris, I'll uh, link him down below. He's an amazing painter. If you live in the Philly area or in the PA area, and you wanna come down and have him paint your car, definitely do because he hooked me up he did everything for 3300 initially it was 2800 bucks which is an insane deal he uh sanded everything bonded everything and uh, he said if you want to because i told him like there's some perfections that i don't care about for him not to even like worry about but he said don't worry about it i'm not going to charge you for the labor i'm just going to charge you for the material and i'll make it perfect so the rear quarters needed a little bit more bondo which i knew because they had a tiny line uh, that I wasn't happy with, but he got it fixed. He fixed that. Uh, there was a really big dent on the roof that he fixed. And as you guys can see for yourself, he killed it on the paint job. The paint job looks phenomenal. I'm super happy with it. Um, the way he painted the hood is that I could still sand it and have the carbon fiber later if I ever wanted to. So everything is done to it. He painted the door jams, the trunk jams, everything, except the engine bay for 3,300. That's amazing the shops that quoted me five to six um, said they weren't even going to touch the door jams because it's just too much work too much stuff to take off and he did all that out of the kindness of his heart so thank you so much Chris if you're watching this you're amazing for painting it this looks phenomenal um, I'm always afraid to drive it every day because it looks so good and I just want to keep it perfect technically all together with the paint I've spent eight thousand three hundred dollars now this includes selling all the parts as well so like I mentioned uh, in the beginning, all this stuff will vary on the parts you find. I did buy a lot of parts new. So if you buy coilovers and wheels used or you have a set that um, you're using off a different car, this price can definitely be knocked down. Like I said, my coilovers and wheels together were almost three grand. So if you buy used coilovers or you buy something like eBay knockoff for the time being, they're like 250 bucks and used wheels you can find on the Facebook market, for a couple hundred bucks, like four, six hundred dollars. Um, then all you have to do is run a spacer to make him flush. The biggest thing that you might have to pay for is just the paint. Like I said, I got lucky with uh, Chris. He hooked me up. If you do it yourself and you find a shop or someone that you know that can hook you up with paint, you can definitely uh, save some money on it. But um, yeah, I've spent eight thousand dollars so far. Um, if I didn't sell those parts, it would be around, it would be around twelve just for everything not including the car oh and we have a little guest so as this video goes live i'm actually going to be dropping a, a link below for the shirts as you guys saw i have a full print i have a front print and a back print like this one so if you guys want to support the channel and you like these shirts we're definitely going to have more prints later on uh, but this is the only one currently and i love it it looks super sick it's super high detailed the color is amazing it's exactly what the car looks like so if you want to scoop one the link is down in the description below if there's anything that i've missed or you have questions on don't be afraid to comment down below i'm going to try to address them either in the comments or i'll make a video addressing it but thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one peace out